Once again, we are in my shop, and this is my early 60s Raleigh Colt. Not sure if I pronounced this correctly. I hope I did. I bought this bike at a local restore a few months ago for $20. I believe this bike is either a 61 or a 64. I'll have to check the serial number again. One of my favorite features on this bike is the bullet here on the fender. It rattles around a bit when you're riding too. I'm pretty sure that this here is something that they did in the factory to make the fender fit. They just kind of crushed it down so that the brake assembly could get in there. It's got these incredible looking block pedals. Tires are very reflective as well. Those aren't original, obviously. Now, despite looking mostly original, this bike does have a few weird things that the previous owner did. They used some sort of grip tape here and then just jammed a cork into the end of the handlebar. It's got an original Shimano, sorry, not Shimano, Sturmy Archer 3-speed, which still works. However, when the original, or when the first owner replaced the shift cable, they lost the part that goes right here, so they just replaced it with a bottle cap. Although it looks weird, it does work surprisingly well. The seat on here is a replacement, I believe made by Schwinn. Or maybe not. This is very similar to the seat that I have on my Sears bike. It's almost identical actually, but the one on the Sears is made by Schwinn. I'll give you a quick demonstration of the three speed here. That's third, and two, and one. This bike rides quite well. However, I didn't know this when I bought it, but the pedals are, or actually the cranks are bent inward ever so slightly on both sides. So your feet end up being very close together when you ride. This is where a reflector would have gone, however that was lost years ago. It does still have the original casing which looks pretty cool. These Sturmy Archer hubs also had to be filled with oil so you can see the oil cap right there. This bike is very sun damaged. It was originally a darker blue color rather than this teal. You can see it in there. I believe this bike sat under a tree for a few years. I 
Used to be a lighter reflector there as well. 